Okay, um, first thing, I got the vote bot list over there, so if you, you, know, you know the drill. So, I really want to enter this fucking round of the fucking Ponies Olympics, because I actually think I do have a chance of fucking winning. So, but I'm a little rusty, because I haven't fucking pwned anything in weeks or months or fucking years, however long this fucking vote bot and shit's been going on for. So... I'm going to take it a little easy, and I'm going to fucking go after my old friend, E-Club Animals. If you don't know who she is, check out my reply to If humans, if Human Was So Smart or my first Punish Olympic entry, and you will see how ignorant she is. So, let's just start this fucking palace. We have shit. scientists now coming out saying that red meat is good for you. And that you should give your children red meat. Then that sounds like a bunch of bull crap. They have been hired by the meat industry to spread these lies. You know what? That sounds like a bunch of fucking bullshit to me. Continue. Why? Because the vegan and vegetarian movement is on the rise. Because people now are starting to... A fucking vegan movement. Look. I don't care if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. I mean, you know, I, fucking many great people were. Uh, Albert Einstein, you know. There are a lot of fucking great vegetarians. What I fucking hate is when fuck nuts like this try to fucking shove this shit down our fucking throats. Completely ignoring the fact that we are omnivores. And I'm not going to get into that right yet because this is what this whole fucking video is about. Because she's like, humans are fucking... Humans are fucking vegetarian animals without fucking, you know, acknowledging, you know, simple facts like teeth or, um, you know, the fact that humans have been eating fucking flesh since the beginning of fucking humanity. But like I said, I'm not getting into that. Seeing the light, saying that, wow, this meat and dairy is doing harm to my body. And that's why we have people that have colon cancer. And, and you know why they had colon cancer? Because red meat stays in your body for three... Eh! Wrong, bitch! Colon cancer, the number one fucking cause of colon cancer is heredity. As in, it fucking is a family illness, like heart disease. So, right there, you're just trying to scare people away from the big bad fucking meat man. Ooh, meat's so... Ooh, meat's so scary. Days. Food not supposed to be in your body. For okay, long. okay. Make fucking note of that. Food is not supposed to be in your body long. I mean, that's that's a stupid fucking statement because we fucking need food, so it's not harmful or anything. But apparently, she fucking thinks food is. So just remember that statement because she contradicts herself throughout this whole video with that shit. Now you know the stuff, and they said that. And you put a, a, let's say you put a bowl of food on the table. They said after two hours, the food starts to slowly, starting to turn to a bacteria. Okay? Okay, let's prove her fucking point stupid again. As you can see, this is a pork chop, and it's been out here since last night, because, you know, I pass out. I'm an alcoholic. I can't, I can't fucking help that, people. So... This has been sitting out for probably a good fucking 10 hours. And as you can see, it hasn't turned into a bacteria yet. Mmm. That's fucking good bacteria. I'm gonna have to finish that later. Mmm. Needs a little salt, though. Man. Let me tell you, our body is not no omnivore body. Our body is not no cave. Okay, you better have some fucking good proof for that. Oh, and, and I, I love this. She actually puts something in her video that proves her fucking completely wrong. Oh, uh, cave, cave nine body. We you hear that? One, of course we're not dogs. I mean, look at me. I'm a human. I'm an ape. That's a fucking canine, you dummy. A canine is a fucking dog. A duh. Oh, 
also, if you notice this little diagram she included in her video, what does that say right there? The canine tooth! And look at that! It's in a human fucking mouth! So, congratulations, Eat Club Animal. You threw something that completely contradicts what you said in your video because you don't look at shit. You just fucking spout shit out of your fucking ass and just not fucking care. I have a canine, a carnivore body. We have a vegetarian body just like a vegetarian animal. I have proof. You better have some now, damn I'm good proof. For sub subject like I usually do in my videos, but let me give you the proof. Proof one. Our intestine is 10 to 12 times long, our body length. It's 10 to 12 times our body length. Why? Because the fruits and vegetables slowly takes digesting. Okay, right there. She just contradicted herself. So what is it, Eat Club Animals? Is food supposed to stay in your body for a long time to be digested? Or is it supposed to get out of your body quickly? What is it? What is it? And they can stay in the body and clean it out the intestine while they're in there. I can see why I stopped making fucking these videos too. Or... also 10 to 12 times their body left. A carnivore animal is, their tested is 10, I mean, three times their body left. Just three times their body left. Why? Because the fool got to hurry and rush out of there. And then she contradicted herself again. Seriously. What the hell? Meat got to hurry up and rush out of there. So they only got three times their body weight. All carnivore animals tested is only three times their body weight. I mean, body lift. And vegetarian animals and humans. You, you notice what animals she doesn't fucking mention in that little whole intestine fucking shit? Omnivores. And you want to know why she doesn't fucking mention omnivores? Because omnivores fucking intestines are also... 10 to 12 times the fucking length of their bodies. So, from a fucking raccoon to a bear to a pig, they're all like that. And even humans. So, congratulations, E. Club. You're stupid. It's got 10 to 12 times. Second of all. You know what? You know what? I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to pick it up in part.